Hello, YouTube. Welcome back. Emma here. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another sweaty vinyasa practice. Um, I am back in Phoenix, Arizona, and one of the beautiful studios I teach at here. So if you're ever in town, please let me know, and I would love to see you in person in the class. Uh, today, let's go ahead and get started on our backs. Any comfortable position. So personally, I kind of like either this knock knee position, uh, feet mats distance, almost like a bridge pose, and then letting your knees fall in towards each other. Feels really nice on the lumbar spine, but you could also do uh, bottoms of the feet together, knees out wide. Could rock your hips a little bit side to side. Start to deepen your breath. Longer breaths in, fuller breaths out. Maybe releasing any sort of expectations you have for what your practice should look like today. Know that it will meet you exactly where you are, exactly where you need to be. Some days that might be something super challenging. Arm balance is almost more of a workout. And some days it might just be lying down and focusing on your breathing. I find that most of the time it's somewhere in between. I like to think about all of the good experiences you have, the good memories. Most of those you probably went in with almost no expectations. When we set expectations for ourselves. It almost just sets us up for failure. We concoct this perfect scenario, perfect day, perfect relationship or vacation, and it's almost impossible to even live up to that, what we've made up in our head. Same thing with your practice. So just try to enjoy the journey, focus a little bit less on what it should look like. Start to take a big full body stretch, arms overhead. Extend your legs, arch your back, lift your ribs, almost like a cow pose, and then hug your knees into your chest where you can roll out the knees. Maybe massaging the low back and then switching directions. Next time, knees are into the chest, pause. Keep your right knee and extend your left leg all the way. If that's too much, bend the left knee, foot to the mat. Roll out your right ankle. Try to get both shoulder blades on the mat, little tuck of your chin. Figure four, cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Thread your arms through your left leg. Catch behind your hamstring. Left leg can be bent or straight. The more you hug your knees in towards you, the deeper the stretch. You should feel this in your outer right hip. Release that grip, slide your right knee more over your left so the knees are stacked. Supine cow face pose. Your left hand will reach for your right ankle or shin. Your right hand will reach for your left ankle or shin. Imagine pulling your feet away from each other as you draw your knees in towards your chest. Now you should feel this in your outer hips. It's a little bit more gentle than a regular cow face pose. Three. Two. Release your hands on one, keep your knees crossed. Cactus arms, move your hips a little to the right, drop your knees to the left. Melt your right shoulder towards the mat, look towards that right elbow and allow gravity to do a lot of the work for you here. So just enjoy the sensation, taking a deep breath into your right lung and letting go. And again. Slowly unwind onto your back. Keep your knees crossed and bring your hands behind your head. So, cradling your skull, your knees are crossed. You could even cross the ankles more like eagle legs. Tap your left toes to the mat, lower your head, inhale. As you exhale, crunch knees in, lift your head and shoulders. Inhale, lower, tap your left toes, head to the mat. 
exhale, crunch, squeeze. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch. Let's do four more. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze. Last three. Really engaging those transverse abs for two. And one. Lift, squeeze. Can you peel the shoulder blades off the mat? Chin up, away from chest. Three, two, one. Lower your head and shoulders, arms by your side. Unwind your legs, feet to your mat. Lift your hips up, bridge pose. This should feel pretty nice on your thighs, your abdomen. Firm your glutes for three, two, one. Slowly lower your hips all the way down to the mat. Extend your legs, extend your arms, take a full body stretch. And then hug your knees into your chest. Keep your left knee in, extend your right leg all the way. Or again, knee can be bent. Roll out that left ankle. Tuck your chin, you can feel the back of the neck get longer. And then cross your left ankle over your right thigh, figure four. Flex your left toes back towards the knee. This will help protect your knee joint. Try to get the lower back on the mat. Release your grip, slide your left knee over your right. Left hand for your right ankle or shin, right hand for your left ankle or shin. Imagine pulling your feet away. So almost like off the sides of the mat. You should feel this in outer hips on both sides. Three, tuck your chin, two. Release your grip, cactus your arms. Bump your hips a little to the left and let your knees go off to the right. Heavy left shoulder, melt your left ear towards the mat. Take a deep breath into your left lung and let it go. Slowly unwind through center, but keep your knees crossed. Again, you could even cross at the ankles like eagle legs. Bring your hands behind your head. On your inhale, lower your right toes to the mat. On your exhale, crunch knees to chest. Lift your shoulders and head off the mat. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lower, tap your toes. Exhale, squeeze. Let's do four more. Last three. Two. On this last one, hold lifted. Peel the shoulders up off the mat, chin away from the chest, gaze up to the sky. Three, two, one. Lower your head and shoulders, arms by your side. Unwind your legs and plant your feet to the mat. Lift your hips up, bridge. Stamp down through your heels. Press down through the back of your skull. Enjoy the stretch in your abdomen. And then slowly lower your hips all the way down to the mat. Knees to chest, catch behind your hamstrings, rock up and down the length of your spine. After about four or five, whenever it feels good and right, we'll cross over the ankles into a tabletop position. Take your time getting there. There's no right or wrong way, enjoy the journey. Spread the fingers out nice and wide. Press down through the tops of your feet, inhale, cow pose, arch your back, chin forward, gaze up. Exhale, chin, chest. Try to find your belly button. Scoop your tailbone. Inhale, cow pose. Arch back, look up. Exhale, round, squeeze. Now, if this feels good, continue. Or if you'd rather circle out your hips, roll out the neck and shoulders, or any other free form organic movement that feels good, I encourage you to find that. Again, release any expectation or judgment, what you think this movement should look like, and try to tap in a little bit more to how it feels. Where in your body could you use a little extra love, a little extra stretch right now, and send something there? Three more breaths. We'll meet back in the tabletop position. Spread the fingers out nice and wide. Step your feet back to a plank. Dome the upper back, look down between your thumbs. 
Squeeze your inner thighs and then come higher on your toes. Bring your feet about mat's distance so you feel a little bit more stable. See if you can pick your right foot up off the mat, point your toes back. Really squeeze that right glute. Strong arms look down. Slowly start to lower yourself all the way down to the mat while keeping that right leg lifted. Stretch your left arm out to the left. Start to roll onto your left hip, left shoulder as you step your right foot behind you. Relax your head to the mat so there's no tension in the neck. The more you roll back, the deeper is the stretch on your left shoulder joint. Take a few moments here, send some breath into the left shoulder. Three. Two. And one, slowly unwind all the way back down onto your belly. Hands under shoulders, press down through the tops of your feet. Inhale, baby cobra. Float your chest, float your hands. Can you pick yourself up a little bit more? And then draw your chin in towards your chest. Firm your glutes, press your pubic bone down. With the hands lifted, just pull them back a little bit. Plant them to the mat, and then bring your feet mat's distance. Roll yourself up to a cobra pose, but keep a little bend to your elbows. Look over your right shoulder, try to find your right heel. This should feel pretty good in the lower back or the waist on your left side. Back through center, gaze over left shoulder, try to find your left heel. Come back through center, keep your knees wide, child's pose. Forehead to the mat, arms forward. Take a deep breath, feel some length through your waist. Exhale, feel heaviness through your sitting bones as you sink them back. One more breath like that. And exhale. Inhale, shift forward through tabletop. Again, feet mat distance, lift your knees up to a plank pose. Feet wide, plank pose. Look down between your thumbs, and then this time, can you lift your left leg up, squeeze that left glute. Your thighs are active, arms are long. Grip the mat with the pads of the fingers. Keep your left leg lifted as you slowly lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Once you get there, untuck your right toes, right arm to the right. Roll onto your right shoulder as you step your left foot behind you. Now relax, right ear to the mat so there's less tension in the neck. The more you roll back, the deeper the stretch. Side one is always different than side two, so give yourself some grace. It might feel and look a little different. Slowly roll back onto your belly. Slide both hands underneath your shoulders. Again, inhale, baby cobra. Float your chest, float your hands. Pinch the shoulder blades together, feel your triceps activate. Can you lift up a little bit more? With the hands lifted, slide them back, press down. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. Maybe you float your thighs off the mat, shoulders back and down, and then tuck your toes to our first downward facing dog. Pedal out the legs here a bit. Find some movement that feels good. Each day is a little bit different, so allow your practice to meet you exactly where you are today. It might be different than yesterday, definitely different than a year ago. Find a little bit of stillness in your downward facing dog. Spread the fingers out nice and wide. Drive your heels in the direction of the mat and then try to Spin your heels and hide them behind the ankles. So even a little bit out. Firm your thigh muscles. Lift your hips up as high as you can. All right, bring your feet to touch in your down dog and lift your right leg up. Bend your right knee, stack your hips and move that around the hip or the ankle joint. All right, and then we'll inhale, lift the right leg up nice and high, flex your foot. You should feel a stretch through your calves. Exhale, squeeze, knee to nose, round your back. Inhale, send your right leg up and back. Exhale, crunch to your left elbow and hold. Now really squeeze your right oblique. 
We'll cross the right ankle over the left thigh, figure four down dog or figure four bear. Personally, I like a little bend in that left knee as well, but you could straighten the left leg if that feels better. Flex your right foot. Shift your weight forward step, right foot to right thumb. Runner's lunge. Take a few breaths here to bend and straighten into your right leg. Bounce the hips, move the toes around, whatever you like. No right or wrong. Next time right knee is bent, low lunge. Drop the left knee, sweep both arms up. Stamp through your right heel, melt your hips forward without dumping into the low back, and then cactus your arms. Palms can be open or two fists. Hide your elbows out of your peripherals, open your chest. Eagle wrap your left arm underneath. If that doesn't feel good, opposite shoulders or forearms together. Start to lift your elbows up. Your fingertips might go back behind you like you're drawing a line on the ceiling. Melt the hips forward. Half split, you can keep the eagle arms or at any point you can release your hands to the mat. Flex your right foot, the top of the left ankle, press it down. Pull your belly button towards your tailbone to help engage your core for three, two, release the hands if they're not already. Rebend your right knee, twisted lunge, left hand down, tuck your left toes, reach your right arm up to the sky and start to draw some circles through the right shoulder joint. So you're moving the entire arm around. Next time the right arm is extended forward, pause. Find some more length from your right hip all the way through your right pinky finger. Can you tuck your left rib under and look up under your right armpit for three? Press the back of your left knee up, two, one, start to roll onto the outside of your left foot, step your right foot back, side plank. Press your hip points up, squeeze your inner thighs. Stay here, float your top leg for three, two, one. Right hand down, plank pose, inhale, shift forward, knees up or down, chaturanga, lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, your back bend, cobra or up dog. Exhale, tuck your toes, find downward facing dog. Again, spread the fingers wide so there's less tension in the wrists. Lengthen your arms. Flip your tailbone up towards the sky and then bring your feet to touch. Send your left leg up behind you, bend your knees, stack your hips, move that around. Zero expectations for side two. Send the left leg up behind you, foot flex. Exhale, squeeze, knee, nose. Dome your upper back. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale to the right elbow. As you shift back, cross your left ankle over your right thigh for figure four down dog or figure four bear. Arms are long and pressing. Shift weight forward, step to your left thumb, runner's lunge. A few breaths here, bend and straighten into that left leg. Might feel the same, might feel different from side one, just honor it. No rush, enjoy the journey, we'll meet in a low lunge. Reach both arms up. Squeeze the inner thighs towards your midline and then cactus your arms. Again, open palm or two fists, shoulder blades draw together as you broaden through your collarbones, right arm underneath eagle. Same options as side one, and then let's start to curl back. Think of pressing your spine towards the back of your heart. Find some length through your abdomen. Half split with or without the arms. Flex your left foot. Peel the toes back. Try to lengthen your spine. So the shoulder blades come down the spine, but feel the sternum go forward for three, two. Release the hands if you haven't already. Plant your right hand, tuck your right toes for a twisted lunge. Left arm to the sky, and then circle out the left shoulder joint. So big circles with the entire arm. And then next time your left arm is extended, hold here, pause. Can you press the back of your right knee up, squeeze your right glute, spiral your chest up, 
towards the left for three, two, roll onto the outside of your right foot, step your left foot back, side plank, strong right shoulder, maybe lift your top leg for three, two, one, chaturanga, left hand down, take it through. Inhale, finish your breath. And then exhale to downward facing dog. Using your breath as your guide, the movements will follow. Find a long breath in and out through your nose, ujjayi breathing. Slight contraction in the back of your throat. Maybe already feeling a little more ease in your downward facing dog. Let's inhale, lift the heels, bend your knees, look forward, step, or if you're ready, jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift and flatten. Exhale, forward fold, catch your ankles. Inhale, rise, reach both arms all the way up and out. Exhale, hands to your heart and to your side, samasvitihi. Find a little activation through your feet and your inner thighs. Proud chest, but remove the arch from your lower back. Relax your jaw, soften your gaze. Inhale, reach both arms up, look up, Urdhva Hasasana. Exhale, forward fold, dive down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, flatten, Ardha. Plant both hands, step back to a plank pose. Finish your exhale to Chaturanga at the bottom. Inhale, curl your chest up, Urdhva Mukha, upward facing, or Cobra. After you finish your inhale, roll over your toes to Adho Mukha, downward facing dog. Focusing on the breath, not just when we're holding a pose, but also when we're moving. Firm your thigh muscle onto the thigh bone. Press your shins back, low belly towards your thighs. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward. Step or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, rise, reach up, look up. Hands, heart, and samastitihi, standing at attention. Again, Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, heart up, head up, palms down, step or jump back. Your exhale takes you to the bottom of your chaturanga. Inhale to a back bend and exhale right to downward facing dog. Split your mat in half, hands actively forward, heels driving back. Find some more length through your waist and then feel the outer shoulders wrap around. So externally rotating. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, step or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, rise, arms up, reach up. Hands, heart and to your side. All right, last time, inhale, reach up, look up. Maybe a little back bend, and then exhale, fold. Halfway lift, prepare. Palm the mat, step or jump back, vinyasa. If you do choose to jump back, make sure you're landing in your chaturanga with the elbows bent so you're not jamming the shoulder joint. Otherwise, continue to step back. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, take a step to your right thumb. Keep your left hand down. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. We're going half moon. Bump your right fingers in front of your mat. Open yourself up to the left, balancing. Flex your left foot. Option for the hand to start at the hip or a block under your right hand. Try to scoop your right hip under your left. Start to put a little bend in your right knee. Take a generous but gentle step back to a warrior two. Line your heel up with your arch. Melt the shoulders down the spine. Right knee out to the right. Gaze over right fingertips. 
Inhale, breath, reverse warrior. Reach your right arm up and back. Avoid dumping into that left side. Take an inhale. Exhale, side angle. You can bring your elbow onto your thigh, left arm to the sky. You can also bring your right hand to a block, right hand to the mat, and then if possible, extend that left arm overhead without dumping forward, so keep spiraling your chest up, almost like that left arm is reaching behind you. Side lunge to the back or flying monkey. Big bend in your left knee, hands heart, walk them forward or anything else you'd like. If monkey lunge ever, ever doesn't feel good, side lunge is great. Either way, you're getting a stretch through your inner right thigh. Bump your left hip a little to the right. Hands to the mat, lift your hips up, wide-legged fold. Chaturanga arms, plant your palms, fingers forward. Elbows go back, firm your thighs. Drop the crown of your head towards the mat, relax your neck. Squeeze your abdomen to help you fold. Inhale, halfway lift, plant your right hand under your nose, send your left arm to the sky. Bump hips to the right, stack shoulders. Look up at your left hand. Bring your left hand down and walk to the top of your mat, runner's lunge. On your inhale, come up to a high lunge, crescent warrior. How straight can you make your left leg, knit your ribs in. Press your hands together overhead and then follow your fingertips to your heart center. Take an inhale. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Hook your left elbow on or outside of your knee. I'm avoiding the mic, but ideally the elbow is gonna be outside of the knee. Press right palm into left palm. Spiral your sternum to meet your thumbs. Drop your left knee to the mat, half split. Straighten into your right leg. Flex your foot, re-bend your right knee, sweep both arms up for a little bit of a back bend, and then palm the mat, step your right foot back, vinyasa. Inhale, lift your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, take a step to your left thumb. Right hand stays down, reach your left arm up. Left arm forward, half moon. You open yourself up to the right. So it's a big movement, you're switching directions. Great time for a block under your left hand. Draw your belly button towards your spine for stability. Start to bend into your left knee, take a generous step back to warrior two. Remember where you land is not where you're stuck. You can always adjust your feet. Flip your right palm, inhale, reverse warrior. Avoid dumping into the right side. Think more lifting out of the left. Through center, side angle, elbow, thigh. Great place to start. Avoid dumping forward or into the left side. So you still have control over your core, right arm extended. Outside edge of the right foot, grounds down. Can you peel your chest back a little bit? Flying monkey or side lunge to the back. Shift the weight to your right foot, big bend into your knee. Bump right hip a little to the left, proud chest. Your left thigh is externally rotating. Toes point up for three, two. Wide-legged fold, hands to the mat, lift your hips up. Point your toes to the long edge of your mat, squeeze your thighs. Anything else you'd like with the arms? Inhale, halfway lift, left hand down, send your right arm to the sky, big twist. Stack the shoulders, look up at your right thumb, bump hips a little to the left. And then bring your right hand down, walk to the front of your mat, runner's lunge. Big bend in your left knee, both arms up, high lunge. Left knee over ankle, how straight can you make your right leg? Palms together, look up. Follow your fingertips to your heart center, take an inhale. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Hook your elbow outside of your knee. Press the back of your right knee up. Left knee goes out, sternum to thumbs. Left palm press down into the right. Three, squeeze your right glute. Two, release to a half split on one. Straighten left leg, hips shift back. 
Just a breath and then bend your left knee, reach your arms up, little back bend, low lunge. Exhale, palm the mat, step left foot back, vinyasa. Follow the pace of your breath and meet in a downward facing dog. Now we've done it once, we're gonna do it two more times. Release any expectation you have for these next few rounds. Each round is different. Our body's changing by the moment. Try to tune into your breath and allow that to guide you. It's not about how it looks. Think about how it feels, how good it feels to move your body. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, take a step to your thumb. Left hand down, right arm to the sky. Inhale. Right hand in front of the mat. Exhale, open it up to half moon. Stack hips, stack shoulders. Start to bend your right knee, take a step back, land in a warrior two. Gaze over right fingers, inhale breath, reverse. Exhale, side angle, avoid dumping, use control. Shift weight to your left foot, flying monkey to the back, right toes point up. As you lift your hips up, right hand down, left arm to the sky. Bump hips to the right. Left hand down, walk to the front, runner's lunge. Inhale, high lunge with palms together, look up. Exhale, prayer twist to the right. Back knee down, half splits. Rebend the knee, low lunge, little back bend. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, step to your left thumb. Inhale, left arm up, twist. Left hand in front of the mat, open yourself to the right, half moon. Generous but gentle step back, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Flying monkey to the back. Left hand down, right arm to the sky, wide-legged twist. Right hand down, walk to the front of your mat. Runner's lunge, inhale, high lunge with palms together. Exhale, twist to the left. Right knee to the mat, half split, straighten and fold. Bend your left knee, low lunge, sweep your arms up and curl back. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back, vinyasa. All right, like I mentioned, we're gonna take that through again. However, this time we're gonna be adding on a little bit to the end. So the beginning part will look the same. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, step to your right thumb. Inhale, lift your right arm up. Exhale, half moon, bump right fingers forward, open up to the left. Take a step back, warrior two. Inhale, breath, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Flying monkey to the back. Right hand down, lift your hips, twist to the back. Walk to the front of your mat, runner. Inhale, high lunge, both arms up. Press those palms together. Prayer twist to the right. Back knee down, half splits. Low lunge, little back bend, reach up. And then we're taking eagle arms, left arm underneath, we've been here before. Now you're gonna stamp through your right heel and tuck your left toes. As fluidly as possible, you're gonna come to stand on your right leg, hug your left knee up and into your chest. Cross your left leg over your right. You could even cross at the ankles for Garudasana Eagle Pose. 
Elbows at shoulder height, forearms a little forward. Chin to chest, lengthen the back of your neck. Can you sink a little bit lower? Take an inhale. Exhale, drop your elbows towards your knees, round your back. Parallel your forearms with the mat. You're rounding your back like cat pose, unwind your legs. Send your left leg back, eagle three. Flex your left foot. Start to dive down, lead with your fingertips. At any point, you can release your hands to the mat. We'll meet in standing splits in three, Woo, two, standing splits, one. Forehead towards your right shin. Now step your left foot behind your right so your ankles are crossed. Bend your knees as much as you need and walk your hands over to the right. Drop your head, relax your jaw. This should feel pretty good. So the outside edges of the feet are together, toes point forward, and the right ankles cross in front of the left. Walk your hands through center. Now think about which foot is which foot. Your left foot will stay on the mat. As you lift your torso, hug your right knee into your chest. You're balancing on your left leg. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh and bring your hands to your heart center for figure four. Both knees are bent, send your butt back. Tuck your chin, lengthen the back of your neck. We're here for three. Two, Shiva squat. Keep your right knee bent, just tap your right knee to your left calf. Can you parallel your torso with the mat for three? Two, left hand down, half or maybe full moon. If you're prepared for full moon, you'll bend your right knee, reach your left hand back for the outside of your foot. Try to keep your knee in line with your hip. Press your spine towards the back of your heart. It's a back bend. Make sure you're not overstretching that left inner thigh. Release the foot if you've got it. We're in a half moon. Take a gentle step back. Straight legs. Your left heel is lining up with your right arch. Inhale, reverse triangle. Left arm, reach up and back. Through center, forward and down, triangle pose. Left leg is forward. Your hand can come to shin, foot, mat, or a block. Right arm extended up. Firm your thigh bones, or thigh muscles onto the thigh bone. Stay here, extend top arm forward for three, two, one. Bend your left knee, widen your stance, reverse warrior, one breath. Exhale, hands to the mat. Sweep your left leg up behind you, three leg down dog. Bend your left knee, stack your hips. Stay here and enjoy the stretch or shift weight forward, shoulders over wrists. Step left foot behind you, wild thing. Land softly on your left toes, hip points to the sky. Really press down through your right palm, look to either thumb. We'll flip it back over, left hand down, left leg to the sky. Exhale, take a step to your left thumb. Right hand stays. Inhale, left arm to the sky. Half moon, left fingers go forward. Open yourself up to the right. Now take a gentle step back, land in a warrior two. Inhale, breath, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Flying monkey to the back of your mat. Shift weight to your right leg. Lift your hips, left hand down, right arm to the sky. Right hand down, walk to the front of your mat, runner's lunge. Inhale, high lunge, palms together. Exhale, prayer twist to the left. Drop your right knee, half split, straighten and fold. Bend your left knee, low lunge, reach your arms up. And then eagle wrap your right arm underneath. We've been here before, inhale, curl back. Tuck your right toes as fluidly as possible. Lift your knee up, start to shift weight forward. Hug your right knee into your chest so you're balancing on your left leg. 
Cross your right leg over one or two times. Squeeze your inner thighs. Shift your knees a little to the right, elbows a little to the left. Knit your ribs towards your hips and lean the shoulders over the hips. Take an inhale. Exhale, round your elbows towards your knees. Dome your back like cat pose. Once you get your forearms parallel with the mat, unwind your legs and flex your right foot. Right inner thigh is lifting, right outer hip is dropping. Start to dive down, lead with your fingertips at any point, releasing hands to the mat. We'll meet in standing splits in three, two, Standing splits, right leg all the way up. Step your right foot behind your left. Pinky toes are close, ankles crossed. Bend your knees and walk your hands to the left. Neck relaxed, jaw unclenched. Walk hands through center. Think about your feet. Your right foot, wiggle the toes, that foot staying on the mat. Inhale, rise, arms up. Your left knee comes into your chest. Figure four, cross your left ankle over your right thigh and bring your hands to your heart. Thumbs press into your sternum. Left toes flex back towards your knee. Can you sink a little bit lower? Unwind to Shiva squat. Left knee to your right calf. Stamp down through your right heel. That's your powerhouse right now. Half or full moon, right hand finds the mat or a block. Open your chest and hips to the left. If you took full moon on the other side, bend your left knee, heel towards your butt, reach for the outside of your foot. Try to keep your knee in line with your hip, you're not lifting the knee up. Kick into your hand, this will open the shoulder joint. Open your chest and your left hip flexor for three, two, Release the back foot if you've got it. Start to take a step back. Line your right heel up with your left arch. Straighten your legs, reverse triangle. Lift up out of your waist. Through center, triangle pose. Right hand to shin, foot, mat, or block. Tuck your right glute under your left. Spiral your chest towards the sky. Stay here or top arm extended for a little more length. Three. Two, one, put a bend into your right knee. Widen the stance if you need. Reverse warrior, reach back. Exhale, palms to the mat. Sweep your right leg all the way up to the sky. Three leg down dog. Bend your right knee, stack your hips. Stay here and enjoy the stretch. Or shift weight forward, shoulders over wrists. Roll to the outside of your left foot and step your right foot behind for wild thing or flip dog. Spine towards the back of your heart, hip points up, three. Deep breathing, two. One, right hand down, pigeon pose on the right. Slide your right knee behind your right wrist. We've got about eight breaths here. You can stay upright. If this doesn't feel good, seated or supine figure four. Otherwise, let's come down to the forearms. You could always bring a bolster or a block in front of you. You could even sack your palms, make a little pillow for your forehead. Allow your jaw to soften, shoulder blades to spread apart. Take some deep breaths into your outer right hip. If you need more sensation, walk your left hand a little bit more forward, or even walk both hands a little bit over to the left. Last three breaths. Walk your hands back towards you. Roll to the outside of your right hip. Swing your left leg around. 
So you're kind of at a diagonal. The left foot's towards the top left corner of the mat, bottom of the right foot to the inner thigh. Inhale, reach your arms up, twist your torso over your left leg and fold. Press the bottom of the right foot into your inner thigh. Drop your right shoulder a bit and feel your sternum come forward. We'll be here for three. Two. One, lift yourself up, release your hands, plant your right hand behind your right hip, roll onto your right shin and lift your hips up, stargazer. Hips to the sky, nice big stretch. Lower your hips down, bend your left knee, so trying to bring your left shin almost parallel with the top of the mat, hands in front, and then send your right leg back into pigeon pose on the left side. Adjust your legs if you need and then come into your fullest expression for about eight breaths. Again, side two might feel like a completely different posture from side one, so approach it as it is a completely new posture. Zero expectations, just move into that space where you feel a little discomfort. You can breathe through it and watch it disappear. Maybe your right hand walks a little more forward or your hands walk over past the top right corner of your mat. We'll be here for three more breaths. Slowly walk your hands back towards you. Roll onto your left hip. Sweep your right leg around. Your right leg is extended to the top right corner of the mat, bottom of the left foot to the inner right thigh. Reach both arms up. Align your torso over your right leg and fold. Belly button towards your tailbone, sternum forward. Hello. Folding over your right leg for, th we'll fold over the right leg for three, two, one. Lift yourself up. Left hand behind left hip, lift your hips, reach up and back, stargazer. Lower your hips down, extend both legs and come onto your back. Nice work, you guys. That was a really challenging class. We took a, two bridge poses in the beginning, so we have one back bend here. Walk your heels close to your butt, arms by your side. Scoop tailbone underneath you, lift hips up, bridge pose. If you want upward facing bow, your hips are already up. Plant your hands beside your head. Thumbs are towards your ears. Press into your hands and lift your torso up. Toes point forward, squeeze an imaginary balloon between your knees. Lift up out, press into your palms for three, two, Chin to chest, tuck, and bring yourself all the way down. Let's meet in a happy baby. Knees to armpits, catch your feet or ankles. Find any rock side to side that feels good. Tailbone back down to the mat, gentle tuck of your chin. <sighs> Knees together, let's take a twist and close ourselves out. Knees to the left, gaze right. Make this super passive, allow gravity to do most of the work for you. Feel really heavy through your right shoulder. Unclench your jaw, soften your face. Release any control over your breathing, kind of letting that natural breath resume. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Knees back through center and over to the right. Gaze left. Feel that left shoulder sink towards the mat. Maybe you allow your eyes to close. Release any contraction in your inner thighs, in your palms. Unwind through center. If you have time to take a quick Shavasana or a long Shavasana, I highly encourage that. I would love for you to pause this video, stay still for about 10 breaths. That's usually my goal, at least 10 nice long breaths. And then unpause the video when you're done and we can close out class together. Slowly make your way up to a comfortable seat. 
Eyes closed or soft downward gaze. Bring your hands to heart center. Press your thumbs into your sternum. Take a big breath in. Exhale, audible sigh, let go. Bow your head towards your heart. Honor your body for showing up, putting in the work. Honor yourself for being able to let go of those expectations that you might hold for yourself. And see if you can carry that with you into the rest of your day or the rest of your week. Releasing expectations for whatever lies ahead. Bow your head towards your heart. Om Shanti. Om Peace. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you got a little sweat in like I did. Uh, if you like this flow, make sure to give it a thumbs up. This was one of my favorites, um, so I was so happy to share it with you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you on your mat next time. Thank you.